In Kansas City, Missouri, a 16-year-old black boy went to the wrong house. And in America, that's the beginning of a horror movie. Ralph Yarl wanted to pick up his younger brothers, didn't realize he had the wrong address. So when the person living there, a white man, came to the door and saw who was ringing his doorbell, he did the neighborly thing and shot him in the fucking head. Then, as Ralph bled out, he shot him again. Miraculously, Ralph survived and he's currently in critical condition, while the shooter is currently chilling at home with no charges. Cops say they can't charge him with anything until they have a victim statement, but the victim is not exactly in any condition to make a statement. So in the meantime, they'll just take the word of the white man who says it's all just a big misunderstanding. I mean, there are thousands of black people and poor people in jail right now, pre-trial with way less evidence against them than this fucking guy. And they're only there because they can't afford to pay bond. But this guy doesn't even get charged with anything. And listen, we don't have a race problem in this country, okay? And even if we did, we're not going to talk about it because talking about it creates division. The racism doesn't create division. Talking about it does. And we don't have a gun problem either, okay? It's not a problem that so many people have such easy access to guns and we have a culture that encourages people to pull out the gun anytime they get the jitters. And it's definitely not a problem that so many white people have so many guns and get the jitters anytime they see a black person. That's not a problem. That's tradition.